I think you'll always encounter obstacles in this life. And what I do is I see them as opportunities. I mentioned earlier in an earlier question that I created a solo dance concert. Well, that came out of a time when I was in the ballet and a choreographer came in who was a, quite famous and set a ballet, which is what you call it. When they set a ballet, they make a new ballet or they restage a ballet. And I felt so akin to the movement. I felt like I should be in that piece and I wasn't cast. I wasn't even called to the rehearsals and I begged. I was like, can I just come and be in the rehearsals? And there was a point in time where every now and then some politics would take over in a, in a situation like that in the ballet. And so I couldn't come and even learn it. Now, later when they restaged that ballet, I got to dance that ballet because I was right. When there were some politics that prevented me from doing it. But instead of being bittered by that, embittered by that, I thought, well, my career is not going how I want it to go. But you know what? I can do something proactive for myself. So I gave myself the assignment of this solo concert, and I gave myself six roles to do, two of which I choreographed myself, and then roles that I had done well in my years at the ballet. And I just committed myself to improving myself in a different direction. And from there, that's where I made this discovery about wanting to have a dance company. So I made that obstacle into an opportunity. So that's what I would suggest that you do with those things. When they come up in your life, it's like, well, I didn't get what I wanted, but Maybe God had something bigger in mind for me to pursue and that's even better. And that's what happened, I think.